it's uh, September the 8th, that would be Friday, and it's time to check out what I've done this week, and I shot some pretty good pics. Um, it was interesting, because uh, Monday was a day off, it was Labor Day, so Tuesday, I had been on vacation the previous week, and you always like, I don't know, it, like when you come back and you haven't done it in a while, it just, all of a sudden you start seeing the world a little bit differently, so it is good to take some time off. And it always is good when you have the opportunity to drive around. And I'm driving, and I see this guy completely by himself doing yoga on the beach. And um, I thought it was really cool. I mean, obviously, I shot the pictures. I only approached them after he was done. I got his name and so on. But it's cool to see, like, like uh, even on the beach, like the texture of all the footprints, and yet he's completely by himself. And those are the little things that the viewer sees but doesn't necessarily notice. But it registers in one way or another. Um, another one of these moments that you anticipate and you see it, and I happened to be driving in downtown New Bedford, and I saw two sisters, um, the Mother Teresa uh, Missionaries for Charity sisters, and they were walking together, and then I saw them stop next to this um, gentleman here, and they were talking with him, and I'm just sitting in my car, just watching, and she hands him a card, and then they're doing a prayer, and I'm shooting the pictures and so on, and then after they left, I went to speak to him, and he gave me his name, and he told me what it was. And I thought that was a really cool moment. These are the, like these are the moments that if you're just if you have the patience and you're willing to let it develop and just sit there, and sit there, and you can anticipate what's happening, it's really cool to get the opportunity to capture things like this. Um, that's an awfully tall mast. <laughs> and um, again, sometimes you don't see these things. But if you're periphery, you're always very aware of what's happening. You don't have to necessarily be looking at something. And I noticed out of the corner of my eye that I, something was moving up and down. But the reason this photograph works is you see these two winches? If I shot it in this direction here, it, they would not be symmetrical like they are now. You see how it creates this very cool symmetry with the black and, and the white and so on. So that's why the picture works. Um, and it's good that I had my car because I was able to move into position a heck of a lot quicker. Um, again, looking for different things. Wareham yesterday, driving around, and I see this guy putting these, the, these bricks. So next thing I know, I'm literally standing on top of a piece of wood that's about this tall. <laughs> And I'm looking, and I just sat there until he slowly progressed in the direction. So he was somewhat under me. He wasn't quite under me. Uh, he was a little bit off to the left, but I, you know, I was kind of holding on to that and just waiting for that perfect moment where you could see all the action that's happening. And the fact that this is blue and this is blue, and they're both playing, uh, pointing towards this blue shirt, just makes it work. And uh, today I spent I got, um, all morning, well, not all morning, but a large part of the morning covering the Azorian Whale Boat Regatta that happens once every four years, I think, in, in the city. And uh, rowers from the Azores, which is a um, set of islands from Portugal in the middle of the Atlantic. And they come and they row against uh, an, a crew from New Bedford. So there's two crews from the Azores and there's one from, from our city. And they rode these uh, traditional, uh, traditional Azorian whale boats. So it's always cool to see. But going in, I have no plan. I didn't even know if I had a boat to take me out. <laughs> so I made a couple of calls, and I called uh, the community boating center. Uh, I said, hey, Andy, uh, you got a boat that you can put me in? <laughs> so next thing I know, I had a boat basically all to myself. So I was able to maneuver and do my own thing. But that only comes with relationships that you grow over time. And, and if you go back a couple of months, I actually did something on the community boating center. So again, these are the things that work, but they only work because of everything else that I've done before. Or else I would have been stuck on the pier, like you see some of the people in the photo on the slideshow that you're looking at right now. Um, I also covered um, recess. Uh, there's So I went, to, I, I went to the Congdon School, which is, by the way, is probably the most anonymous school in the entire city because it was built directly in the middle of a residential area so it's really hard to find and i remember when my sister was little she actually went to the Congdon school and on a very foggy day nobody knew what happened to all the kids because a lot of them at the time used to just walk home it wasn't like now you know the parents have to be there to, to collect them so, so i went to the Congdon school and i hung out with them uh, recess because there's a, a program that they're developing 
to add order to the chaos, but I think that's what kids want at recess is chaos. So anyway, um, every photo tells a story and hopefully not, not too many chaotic photos to tell a good story. So we'll see you again next week.